That's what's wrong with this generation today. These young boys today, what does she bring to the table? What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Now in my mind, I've been living in Cleveland my whole life. I've been living with my mom. It's been me and my mom. That's it. Things that should typically describe who you are, those things aren't manifesting themselves when the cameras are not rolling. I've spent my entire life in Cleveland, living under my mom's roof. It's just been the two of us. This seems to be the issue with today's generation. What do these young men bring to the table? What more must they offer to be a part of it? What about a job? Where's the responsibility? These traits that should define us, they're absent when the cameras stop rolling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn and get ready for some juicy gossip as we dive headfirst into the whirlwind romance of none other than your beloved Steve Harvey and his leading lady, Marjorie Harvey. Reportedly, the drama in this famous family has spilled over to their children. Imagine a comedy club in Memphis, Tennessee in 1990. Steve Harvey, the master of humor, and Marjorie Harvey, a fashion-forward woman, crossed paths. Their connection was evident, but the timing was off. Fate had a different plan. Fast forward to 2005, after life's lessons and soul-searching, Steve Harvey, now a bona fide talk show host, was single again and ready for a fresh start. His loyal bodyguard, the unsung cupid of this love story, suggested rekindling things with Marjorie. And as you may already know, love struck again. But who is Marjorie, and how do Steve Harvey's other children feel about her? She's a fashionista, a devoted mother, and a woman who knows her worth. She excels at blending families, or so we thought. They say love conquers all, but it seems Steve's children from previous relationships aren't entirely convinced. Steve Harvey first became a father in 1982 when he and his then-wife, Marsha Harvey, welcomed twin girls, Brandy and Carly. The couple also had a son, Broderick Harvey Jr., in 1991 before their divorce in 1994. After his divorce, Steve welcomed another son, Winton, in 1997 with his second wife, Mary Shackleford, whom he was married to from 1996 to 2005. Two years later, Steve married Marjorie and adopted her three children from a previous relationship, daughters Morgan and Lori, and son Jason. Marjorie once said, when you're dealing with a blended family, everyone is coming from a place of brokenness. They aimed to ensure all their children felt included and loved. However, it seems that feeling isn't entirely mutual, especially from Steve Harvey's biological children with his two ex-wives. As mentioned earlier, Steve and his first wife, Marcia, had twin girls, Carly and Brandy, in 1982. After their divorce, their relationship became strained, and the girls didn't fully understand why their father had left them. Over the years, they came to terms with it, realizing that Steve belonged not only to them but to the world. In 2015, Carly married Ben Raymond, and her father walked her down the aisle, expressing his feelings about giving his daughter away. He reminded Benjamin to take care of Carly because he would take it personally if she weren't treated well. In June of the following year, Carly and Benjamin had their first child, a son named Benjamin Troy Raymond II. Brandy, Carly's twin sister, pursued a career as an author, podcast host, and fitness influencer. She even ventured into bodybuilding placing second in an NPC competition. Brandy is the founder of Beyond Her, a wellness and lifestyle brand aimed at helping women achieve their health goals. Additionally, she serves as the executive director of her father's foundation, the Steve and Marjorie Harvey Foundation. After all the recent drama, it's believed that Carly and Brandy are furious over Marjorie's treatment of their father. But Steve Harvey's family saga doesn't end there. Steve Harvey and Marsha welcomed their son, Broderick Harvey Jr., in April 1991. Broderick is reportedly upset with his father for marrying Marjorie and allowing her to further disrupt their family. Following Steve and Marsha's divorce in 1994, Broderick stayed in Ohio with his sisters and mother. In a May 2019 episode of Steve's talk show, 
Broderick opened up about their relationship, revealing that he didn't have his father full-time in his life until he was 16. Steve Harvey expressed his regrets, acknowledging that he spent his life trying to make up for the mistakes he made as a young man.